guys welcome back to my channel my name is Francis today I'm gonna be talking about something that is actually happening right now and it's actually the Passover um, a lot of people know this time as Easter season and really with Christianity um, it has nothing to do with a bunny it has nothing to do with eggs and that kind of thing but I did want to come on here and really talk about um, quickly talk about why we still celebrate Passover and why we celebrate um, Easter so for starters guys if you guys don't know in the Bible um, there's a really great story about how God delivered the Israelites from Egyptian captivity um, the Lord called Moses from a burning bush and he told him to go set the people free to go to Pharaoh and tell him that Jehovah wants his people to be free. Um, what ended up happening is that God hardened Pharaoh's heart and actually it was just to show the, the power of God. Where he sent 10 plagues and the last plague was actually the death angel. They had the blood of the lamb on their doorpost and therefore the angel of death was able to pass over. The firstborn of the Israelites were spared because of the blood of the lamb. Now we know as Christians that the blood of the lamb is really the blood of Jesus. It was just symbolism for what God was going to do in the future. And um, because of this, because of this freedom, the, this deliverance, this mercy that God showed on these people um, is the reason why it's called Passover. The, the angel of death passed over the people's um, children. So the people that did not have the blood of the lamb, um, their firstborn died. So, you know, now we think of the blood as protection. We use the blood of Jesus and we claim, we, we pray, we ask God to cover us in the blood of Jesus, to protect us with the blood of Jesus from demonic attack, from demonic infiltrations, from death, from sickness, from disease, and all that kind of stuff, because the blood of Jesus is what reconciles us to the Father. The reason why we celebrate Passover again is because God wants us to remember Him, reminisce on His goodness, reminisce on His delivering power. He wants us to reminisce in the fact that He knows our struggles. He knows what He saved us from. extended his grace and his mercy to us that even though we could have been killed in Egypt even though we could have been killed in the world even though the enemy could have our minds even if the enemy can have our hearts God said no no the blood of Jesus will set you free the blood of Jesus will keep you clean the blood of Jesus will resurrect you the blood of Jesus will heal you the blood of Jesus will deliver you. amen so we know that Jesus died for our sins and he died to bring us um, peace with God, reconciliation with God. And that is really what the forgiveness of sins is. Jesus reconciled us with God. That means that we have peace with God. We can actually come to God. We can come boldly to the throne of mercy because of what Jesus did for us. You know, we, went, we passed from darkness to light. We were delivered just like the Jews were delivered from Egypt. We were delivered from the world, the slavery of the world, the slavery of Satan, the slavery of sin, the slavery of this flesh and everything that this flesh wants, everything that this flesh wars for, wars against. You know, this flesh cannot please God. And therefore we were slaves to this flesh. We were slaves to the world's ways. We were slaves to Satan's um, will for our lives. You know, if, if and when we don't receive Jesus and place our faith in Jesus, because that's the key thing, place, uh, placing our faith in Jesus, then we are doomed to eternal damnation, which is eternal separation from God, eternal spiritual death, separation from the glorious love of God, the glorious kindness of God. And another reason why we celebrate um, Passover is because we are the engrafted Jews. We are the engrafted branches. You know, the, there was a separation um, in the past, obviously, you know, between Jews and Gentiles. Um, we were not supposed to be, um, we're not supposed to 
become Jews by practicing what they practice or even practice still, you know, we are Gentiles and it's okay because it was in God's plan anyway to save us. We were in God's plans. We were in God's mind. So like I was saying, that's not to say that we are supposed to incorporate like Judaist uh, religious rituals and start, you know, cutting lambs in our backyard and sacrificing, you know, burnt offerings to the Lord, wearing uh, the shawls and stuff like that. It doesn't mean that God wants us to, you know, uh, walk around with a menorah, with the candles, you know. He doesn't want us to become Jews. He wants us to acknowledge that we are Gentiles and that he died for the Gentiles as well. So I hope that you guys um, are clear about why we celebrate Passover and what is its significance for our lives in, in general. Um, you know, God is good and he wants to save us. He wants to change our, our lives. You know, God doesn't want us to live poor, poverty stricken, sad lives, you know, he gives us the, the the ability to get wealth, you know, and then all he asks of us is to not forget him. You know, when God heals us, it's to glorify his name. When God delivers us and changes our our lives from a negative, you know, perspective to a positive one, that's because he wants to be glorified. You know, he wants us to give him the glory. He wants us to testify to others and bring them into the Lord, you know, into the, the, the path of the Lord. You know, it's not for us to become greater. It's not for our names to be applauded. It's not for our, you know, to get these 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 pats on the back. It's, it doesn't prove your Christianity. It doesn't prove that you're holier than anybody else. It doesn't prove that God loves you or favors you more. It's really for other people, guys. So I pray you guys stay tuned. If you like this video, share, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. God bless you.